betray us. To me. Okay, I'm coming. So, Mamir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mamir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... Bell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Focus near the bridge. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally, that horn! Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, Members me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunkun. Aho. Eh. Echo no Tunno Funno. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned. 
Dragon's out of it. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the Giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the Giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Alchemist were needed to find it. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad.
enemies down. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Here, Drifle. Whoa! The name made it light up. It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. One more for the collection. Mimir, you were in the middle of a story before. What were you saying about the long war? And we'll pick this up later. Skill continues to grow.
on your side.
Lemire, you were in the middle of a story before. What were you saying about the Long War? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got, but of course there's more to that.
get down there. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. Or I can just tell you the story later.